What is Energy Justice by Dr. Destiny Nock? And this video has been funded in part by the National Science Foundation. So, energy justice requires achieving equity in both the social and economic participation in the energy system, while also remediating social, economic, and health burdens on those disproportionately harmed by the energy system. And often, those that have been harmed include minority and low-income communities and other communities that experience vulnerabilities. So come on in and let's talk about three types of energy justice. Energy justice can fall into three broad categories. The first is distributional justice, which asks the question of where are there injustices? The second, recognitional and restorative justice, asks who was ignored and have they been compensated? The last, procedural justice, asks if there is a fair process. Achieving societal energy justice requires addressing all three. And again, those three are distributional justice, recognitional and restorative justice, and procedural justice. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Distributional justice would require everyone receiving a fair share of the benefits and costs. This requires us to find where energy injustices emerge in the world and who they impact. Often, minority and low-income communities have high costs, but have been on the low side of the benefits. Let's look at a distributional justice example. The location of emission-producing power plants, such as natural gas, coal, and biomass power plants, can place an undue burden of air pollution and health effects on minority and low-income communities. Sometimes this stems from inequitable access to different energy technology types. Now let's look at recognitional and restorative justice, which asks and requires that individuals are fairly represented within the energy system and are free from physical threat. Individuals are also offered complete and equal political rights across the system and would be compensated for past harms. So a key question here is have the past and ongoing harms caused by the energy system been resolved? Procedural justice looks at the law side of things. Specifically, it looks at, is there fairness in the process that allocates resources, resolves disputes, and determines compensation for harms? Key questions include, who gets to decide, and are marginal communities included in the decision-making process? So, remember, a truly achieving energy justice requires achieving all three types of justice. Those three types, again, are procedural, distributional, and recognitional and restorative justice. Energy justice requires that we are fixing the energy system so that it shares the benefits and reduces the harms associated with energy consumption. If we all work together, we can most definitely make an equitable future. This video has been produced and recorded by Dr. Destiny Nock, and it has been supported in part by three different National Science Foundation grants. Thank you to our sponsors, and thank you for listening and tuning in. Energy justice is achievable. Have a great day.